Hi everyone! In my previous video I have already shown how to compare two tables in Power Query editor using merge functionality. This works both in Power BI and in Excel, by the way. Uh, and this is a simple way to for someone who is just starting to use Power Query and compare two tables. However, this method is time consuming as you need to map all the joining keys, as I'm showing here, and map them to the table you are comparing it to. Um, however, for more advanced users who is comfortable to write Power Query scripts, they can use a function called table remove matching rows. So this is a method that has been mentioned by Rain R. Zufol, who commented and offered this approach, which is a great suggestion. However, I feel it requires explanation because it's not that simple to uh, use for uh, many users who is not comfortable writing Power Query scripts. Let's have a look how we can use this functionality. First of all, my use case the same. I've got table A, which has been provided to me with 16 columns. Then um, I have been given an updated version of that table, and it's a table B. And I don't know where the changes have been made. I see that it's the same columns, the same number of rows. However, I'm not sure what has changed. So how do I compare it using this method? So the method that has been provided actually contains two functions that you will need to use. First, let's have a look at table remove matching rows function. So that function accepts um, two arguments and so one optional argument. So the first argument is a table that we need to provide. And then the second argument is rows as a list. So in order to use this uh, function, we can provide table A as a first argument, and we need to provide table B. However, it has to be list. But in our example, it's a table. It's not a list yet. So we need to convert it to list. Uh, hence, you need to use function table to records to convert the second uh, table B into a list. So all it does, it accepts table and returns a list of records. So let's have a look how it's going to look. So I will create a new blank query. And I'm going to write table to records. And all I need to provide is the name of the table. So here it is. So I have converted it into list. So each record contains the column name and the value that is associated with the first row in my table B. So that's the record, the first row, and so on. So it has created all this record, but it's the same table. It's just stored in a different data structure, which is called list. So that is a table to record function. Now, now we know what this second function is. We can use it in a table remove matching rows function. So let's use that. For that, we need to create another blank query. So right click, create blank query. And now I just need to type the function. And now I need to provide the first argument, which is a original table, table A, 
comma and the second argument rows as a list. So we need to provide the list. You can either provide table to records, which we already have, or you can just write the same in here. Open parenthesis and provide the name of the table, table B. And that is it. Once we hit enter, we can see that it's it has returned four rows. These are the rows that are not found in table B. However, they do exist in table A. So this is the advanced method of how to use table remove matching rows. It's more convenient to use if you've got a lot of the columns so that you don't have to map them as we did in previous video. However, you have to be careful when you're comparing. You need to be aware that in order for this method to work, the number of columns need to be exactly the same and the names of the columns need to be the same. Thanks for watching.